Hey guys, how are you going? Liv here. I'm starting this video off barefaced because this is the best of 2018. Now, I already realized we're in 2019, hence why we're doing the best of 2018. And this is basically my favorite products from each category of my makeup that I found this year or that I've been using most this year or my favorites of this year. I think this is a really good way to like document, like so it'll be great for like later years and it's a really good way to document. So like, say when I'm like really old and gray and I wanna know what my favorite foundation was in 2018, I can come back and see. But without further ado, I'm gonna get started. What I'm gonna start with, which I've been doing a lot this year, is my eyeshadow base. Now I've been loving the NARS, right, uh, not the NARS Radiant, the NARS Soft Matte Creamy Concealer as an eye base. I don't particularly love it as an under eye concealer because I find it's a little bit too heavy for me per se, but um, for blemishes, for eyeshadow base, for anything, it is absolutely amazing. So I'm going to start by applying my eye base and then we'll get on to the second step. Um, but it completely blanks out my base. Um, but next is eyeshadow. So, my favorite eyeshadow palette for 2018, which, I don't know, is probably, it's not a surprise for me, um, because I use it pretty much every time I do my makeup, other than when I'm on here or when I'm going like out, out. So if I'm just going out, oh, so I'm just going out for the day or I'm going to work or something, I normally always use the peach, Sweet Peach is Peach, the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. And the combinations that I'm gonna show you today, honestly, if you could see like the palette from here, the indents of the shadows that I use, I practically hit pan. One um, shadow that I love to use, I'm not gonna do it today because I feel like it's super easy to explain, I can just explain it to you guys, is Candid Peach. Now it's this like um, matte peach color there and it's got like some um, glitter in it. Um, but I love just putting that all over my lid and like smoking it out to the max. I always get compliments on it when I do it, um, which isn't the reason I do it. I just really like how it looks and it's super easy, super quick to do. But what I'm gonna show you is like a really natural brown smoky eye today that I love to use with it. Um, so yeah, so I would love to hear from you guys what your favorite eyeshadow or I feel like we always all have that one combination of eyeshadows, whether it's a palette or just a single that we go to and then we stick to it until we find something new. So the first color I'm picking up and just putting all over my lid is Caramelized, which is just a shimmery bronze color. And what you guys will see from this, I just pack it on pretty messily um, using my JH41 brush. My Jaclyn Hill brush set was another thing I got this year and I do love it. Next, I'm going in with the JH31 brush and then I'm taking the color Puree to blend out the color Caramelized. What has everybody's favorite launches, makeup launches of makeup in this year? That's my question to you lot. I think mine has to be anything of Jeffrey's, of Jeffree Star's, just because I feel like he pushes all of the boundaries, he never brings out something that's the same all of his like colorways are different they just it's just amazing um but next i am taking the jh39 which is this little tiny brush and i'm tipping into summer yum it's the matte shade just next to puree and i'm just taking that through my crease and it just adds a little bit of dimension Again, just with the brush that we added puree with, just blending that together. And it's funny, I was gonna mention at the start of the video, I'm gonna do my eyes first, just because I do find, not that it's ridiculous amount, but I do get quite a lot of fallout from Caramelized and Luscious, the two shimmer colors that I put on my lid. And today it hasn't been that bad, so there we go. Okay, and the next shade I'm taking is Luscious, I haven't been holding the palette up this whole time. I should be doing that. Whoa! Luscious, just here. And what I like to do with this one is just tap it 
on the centre of the lid just to give some light. And it just completely transformed it. I absolutely love it. Um, I'm going to go in with eyeliner and if you were watching my videos at the start of the year, uh, my favourite eyeliner is Teddy by MAC, but MAC have recently been re-formulating like, their um, pencil liners and Teddy has been sold out forever. So I have recently found Coffee, which is from MAC again, and that's my favourite and I just like to put it in the waterline. Um, just because I feel like it adds some dimension to my eyes and doesn't make them look so bald. So watery eyes today. And then next, so my favourite primer of 2018 is by far Tatcha Silk Canvas. Um, I don't know if this has been in a video yet, but um, before I was never really a primer gal, I did used to use um, the Becca lip from within cream um in the color opal i did love that but for me it's because i have quite dry skin so anything that i put on my skin that's at all illuminating it doesn't really illuminize because with dry skin it just like sucks any kind of moisture you put on it um now i love this primer because one it makes i feel personally it makes my makeup last for a really long time um, makes it look fresher for longer, completely bl blurs, uh, completely blurs pores and fine lines and wrinkles and it just, oh, it also makes your makeup waterproof as well and it completely colour corrects your complexion which you hopefully saw through the camera just then. But without further ado, hold on, we have favourite foundation coming up. Now this foundation uh, launched in February of 2018 and that one is the NARS Natural Longwear. As you can see, I am scraping from the bottle. I need to get a new one. Um, I use, again, if you use me for uh, a colour match, I use the colour Barcelona, which is M4. Um, without a tan, I am probably Mont Blanc, which is light too. Um, but yeah, I love this one. It is absolutely amazing. It's full coverage. It's dewy, which is a dry girl's dream. Um, it's full coverage. It's dewy. It is perfection. I will put it on the skin. What I did notice when um, it first came out was that the pumps of foundation, when you pump it out, I'll try demonstrate. It's tiny. Trust me, it's enough. <laughs> um, I'm just going to do two for goodwill, um, but this stuff like is amazing. It spreads so well, so evenly, and that's coming from someone with a lot of surface area. And next, my favorite concealer of 2018 is the Kat Von D Locket Concealer. I got a little sample of this in one of my Sephora orders and I like kind of like brushed it to the side. I wasn't really in the market for a new concealer, nor did I really care about it. And then I tried it and I freaking loved it. This doesn't really crease on me. It's quite thick. Um... I've never really had a problem with concealer not lasting anyway because really the only place that I do conceal is um, my under eyes. I don't really, if I'm going on the face anywhere, it's just to like for highlighting purposes. Um, and I, and the great thing about the mini of this is it's like actually like a mini bottle, so it's like half the size of this. I went through that and then I went through a whole one of these and I've repurchased it. So it's my honest to good goodness favorite. Oh. But yeah, I got this wrong shade and shape tape. It suits me when I have no fake tan on and I very rarely don't have fake tan on. Um, so I feel like I haven't given it a good go, but I do like it. I think I like Lock It more. I think I prefer Kat Von D more though. Um, and this is something I did buy in 2017 but didn't really use it until 2018 a lot. And again, I love it. It goes, it probably, probably because it's from the same make, it is the Kat Von D Lock It Translucent Powder. And these two are just an unbeatable combination. I'm going to hurry up and powder before I crease everywhere. 
Now, next we are going to go in with our under eye while we've got this powder on and can wipe it away. So what I like to do is take Summer Yum. I will show you guys that color now. So that is the more uh, ready color, I want to say. It's the darker matte. Run that under the lower lash line. And I like to pack it on like a fair bit because I want the color to be like there. And then what I like to do is just get the same uh, blending brush that we were putting puree on, which is the color next to Summer Yum, and just blending that out. So I am aware that I have mentioned that I am dry about 50,000 times in this video, but something that I has completely changed my makeup routine is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting um, Palette Wardrobe, the wardrobe it's called, um, and it is just three of like their best um, powders together and all I'm gonna do is dust them all with this amazing brush here this is um, the Jaclyn JH06 I think she calls it my everything brush and I just go like that and I put it all over my face to set my face and the thing with um, with hourglass powders is they all have something in it called photo light technology which what happens is when you have a flash photo taken of you or if you're in direct light like these ones here it just makes your face look really like beautiful and luminous instead of just like really flat um, with no dimension to it Sorry guys, cut out. Another thing I have been loving in the brow sector has been the Hourglass Brow Arch, but, but we are gonna go in with the Josie Moran, the Good Brow, Fill and Chill. I've got the color like medium. It also comes with, so it comes with one side is like the brow product, and then the other side is like a little highlighter product, which I haven't really been using that much. The one thing I do miss with using the Josie Moran brows is um, not having my spoolie that I do at the end of my hourglass. But I won't be talking to you throughout this portion because I need to concentrate. <laughs> my brow literally goes from this to this in two seconds, which for me is a huge plus. Wow. Love that I can now sharpen my Josie Moran because it means I, I can keep using it 2000, through 2019. One thing that I've also loved with my brows this year, I've always loved the, I'm trying to look for it, I'm not looking away to be rude. Where are you? The MAC gel. Just the MAC clear brow gel. I love it. It's a freaking winner for me time and time again. But um, Hourglass also has, um, they brought out their brow arch range into a gel form and it has like a really interesting, ooh, ew, I've had mine a while, so apologies for that if you saw that. Um, it has like a really interesting wand, well, ah! no, okay, goodbye to this compact because the product inside it is dead. I gotta get some super glue. So... It is a little bit weird. It's like got a little long end. Oh, I really hope that's focusing. Yeah, and a little short end. I don't really tend to look, use the long end. I just like to brush through my brows a bit to keep it in place, to add a little bit more. Um, I love this when I get first get my brows tinted because um, then I just like brush through my brows with this and my brows are like ready to go. Also, a little tip, um, I have my brow arch color, I use dark brunette, and my gel color, I use soft brunette, and it just adds a really like nice dimension. It makes your eyebrows look really thick and bushy when you use both of them together. Alas, I have not. Um, now, for bronzer, that's something I have been dabbling in. Um, because for the first half of the year, I was absolutely obsessed with with the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzer. I got the shimmery one. I literally hit pan in it. I was obsessed with it. And when my friend came back from America, she brought me back the um, Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Now, since I she's come back, I don't like... 
it's been the only thing I've been using. I absolutely love it. Um, and I'm like pretty close to hitting pan. Although it's hard because I'm trying to think of I've, I've used this in a video, I feel. But I don't know what to do. I know I've definitely used my Tarte Park Avenue Princess in videos. I'm going to use the Physicians Formula because it's what I'm loving at the moment, okay? Shoot me. Don't. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going in with my um, Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I've got it in the shade Sunkissed Bronzer. Sunkissed Bronzer, yeah. And again, I'm using the Jaclyn Hill My Everything Brush. I absolutely love this. I love that Jaclyn has sold, well, that Morphe has put the brush range on separately so you can um, buy like your favorite separately because I want to buy 50 of these. <laughs> they remind me a lot of the Smashbox contour brush. Mm, I love this bronzer. <laughs> I really like this bronzer. Next. I'm going to go in with my favourite blush, and my favourite blush this year has been NARS Taj Mahal. Now, you might be looking at this watching this video being like, girl, you crazy, that is orange. It is. Um, I bought it originally because I really like using it as an eyeshadow um, on clients that I might have or on myself. Um, and then one day I was like, you know what, I might just screw it and try it as a blusher. And I freaking love it. I do love it with this um, eye look as well because um, it really brings out the orangey tones, peachy tones in the eyes. Now, what I have learned this year is that bronzer does not last. I put that too low. Bronzer doesn't last, so I like to put a lot on, and you will see by the time I fix plus and set my face, half of this will be off. So, I look like a mad woman at the moment, but I won't when I leave the house, so don't worry. But yeah, I absolutely love it. Okay, so moving on to highlighter. My favorite highlighter of 2018 is by far Hustler Baby from Fenty Beauty. Now, I have this little baby one, which, oh my God, it's, li it's literally done. I do have a big one. There's a little bit around the rim, though, um, that I'm gonna try and use. But this, oh my God, I've never loved a highlighter more. Um, you can't individually buy the little mini ones. You need to buy this and a mini of the um, gloss bomb. That's what I was trying to get out. Um, which I've also finished the mini gloss bomb, but then I bought a big one of this and I also bought a big one of Hustler Baby, which comes with another one. But I've not had to open this, obviously, because Main Money looks like really chill, like a really nice, um, subtle, subtle moment. Or it's Hustler Baby, it's just amazing. I love it so much. It's my, literally, it's my ride or die highlighter. Um, now, not last, but not last, second to last, mascara. My favorite mascara, I discovered this at the very end of 2017, but didn't really love it, love it, love it on myself until 2018. That's when I really tried it, but it has been MAC Extended Play. This is traditionally, traditionally known as a bottom lash mascara, which it's fantastic for that, because it's the brush, the wand is tiny. But this formula is a, um, it's not a matte formula, it's a waterproof formula, but it comes off really easily with warm water. All you gotta do is like rub your eyes a little bit and it falls off. Um, basically, I've sold about 30 of these this year alone, probably more. So Mac, if you're watching, please start giving me commission on this mascara because I have told everybody about it. Everybody has bought it and everybody loves it. Um, so yeah, essentially it is waterproof. You can cry, you can sweat, you can get really bad eye hay fever. You can get water thrown in your face and it does not smudge, it does not move. But the minute you just put a little bit of warm water on your eyeballs, it just falls off. It means you don't get left with a black line. It has changed the mascara game for me. If I try a new mascara, it can be literally fantastic in every other element, but if it leaves like a black line under my eye once I've washed off my makeup, I automatically, I'm like, nah, it's not that great. 
Like I'm, I'm a pretty harsh critic if I do say so myself, but I'm gonna pop it on. Also, it is a tubular mascara, which means you can put layers and layers and layers and layers and layers of it on, and it does not um, clump up at all. I'm just gonna leave this here to dry so it doesn't leave a mark when I put peel it off when I flick it off last but not least is lips and if you know me lips isn't my favorite thing because nothing stays on my lips therefore I hate wearing lipstick and it really freaking annoys me but my one combination that does stay a decent amount of time um, is the Urban Decay Insanity lipstick which as you can see, I've practically finished it. Um, it is a perfect peachy nude for me, which if you haven't already learned, peachy undertones are my favorite. But another thing that I love putting over it is the Hourglass um, Extreme Sheen Lip Gloss in Imagine. Now, it's just, what I like to describe it is it's not as nudey pinky as Fenty Gloss Glam or Glittery. It just adds, it, it, adds a, it adds a sheen. It's called Extreme Sheen and it adds a really beautiful sheen. I imagine it's what um, Katie and Desi's Over the Top Gloss is like, which would love to try, but because I've got this, I'm like, oh, can I say money bull, you know? But without further ado, I should put this on and you should see how it brings a look together. <laughs> I cannot forget about my trusty Fix Plus, which is, oh my god. Now I've got my fan in front of me, I'm just gonna dry my face with the fan. And while I'm letting this dry, um, I'm gonna say my favorite setting spray of 2018 has definitely been the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray, but Today I'm going to be using the Bleach London Hard Aff Setting Spray simply because I am so dry at the moment and this setting spray just comes through when I'm dry because it has, um, what, oh my god I forget this every time, it has got castor oil in it so it really makes you look really beautiful, really dewy and it's going to hydrate me as well, it's literally on its last legs. Mm. I've got to pat that one in, otherwise I'm going to get water droplets. And that is the final look completed. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Mwah.